It's Lucia Capital Group Weekly Video Time. I'm Rick Plum. If you've done your retirement planning, you've probably considered what your tax situation might look like. One thing that some people assume is that if they're not earning a paycheck anymore, then their taxes will likely go down. So is this really true? Well, maybe, but maybe not. This is where it helps to be prepared because some people may find themselves caught off guard by taxes they didn't count on. Here are a few of them. Social Security Benefits. You may not be aware of it, but depending on how much non-Social Security income you have, a good portion of your benefits may wind up being taxed and at ordinary income tax rate. What type of other income count? Well, any IRA or 401k withdrawal, along with capital gains, non-qualified dividends, tax-free bond income, interest income, it all counts towards what's called your Modified Adjusted Gross Income, the MAGI. And if that MAGI hits certain thresholds, you could see as much as 85% of your benefits wind up in the taxable column. And that is something that catches a lot of people by surprise. Now, distributions from retirement accounts can also be taxable. I talked a second ago about how IRA and 401k withdrawals would count towards your MAGI. But you should know that they're also taxable to you just for taking the money out. Any earnings that you may have been accumulating in those accounts have been tax deferred from the start. But once you remove them and you make them your own, they're all fully taxable at ordinary income rates. And those rates could be as high as 37% if you've got a lot of money in there. And in case you thought you could just leave them in the accounts because you don't need the money, well, that won't work. At age 72, you will be required to start taking minimum distributions from each of them. Medicare Part B. Here's another one that some people tend to forget about. Right now, most Medicare participants pay about $150 per month as a standard premium for their Part B benefit. It was $148.50 for 2021, to be exact. They call it a premium, but it's really kind of a tax. And there may be more. If your modified adjusted gross income, as reported on your IRS tax return from two years ago, is above a certain amount, you'll pay that standard premium plus an income-related monthly adjustment amount, IRMA. IRMA is an extra charge added to your premium. If your total income in 2019 was over $88,000 for a single person or $176,000 for a married couple filing a joint return, your 2021 IRMA premium adds another $60 per month to your normal Medicare Part B premium. And it keeps going up from there. If your AGI is really high, like over $500,000 for a single person or $750 for married filing a joint return, your premium could be as high as $505 per month per person. That's a big jump. Now, one silver lining with these IRMA surcharges, though, for many retirees, they're often just temporary, maybe the result of a large one-time capital gain. And the other good thing is that what may appear to be an unavoidable tax hit to you may actually be partially or entirely avoidable through proper planning with a financial advisor. If you're aware of any potential roadblocks ahead of time, you may have a strategic advantage that allows you to keep more of your hard-earned money. Want help planning your retirement? Just give us a call. We're here to help.